This is uh, part 19 of our little build an intranet together um, for with SharePoint. And uh, permissions is definitely one of those things that scares people most, and it's also something that can go wrong. So the purpose of an intranet is to share a lot of information with a bigger audience, of course. And then what you'll do is you'll have a smaller audience or a smaller group of people who will contribute. In the previous uh, video, I showed you how to create a team for that contributors forum for your intranet, which means that that team already has an Office 365 group, which gives permissions to that team. So let's take a look at modifying the permissions for your site. If I go to the settings wheel and I go to site permissions from there, um, you'll then see that this at the moment is saying that there's site owners, site members, and site visitors. So I can now go and add members and visitors in there. I'm going to just go to the Advanced Permission Settings page. And um, then take a look at who I can add in where. So um, full control would be, let's say, me, site collection admin or something. And then members are people who can edit the site. So when I go to members, this is where I would add in that Office 365 group for that cool team that I've created. So let's add um, users. And I know that I called the users the, um, the nerve center. Oh, there we go, rock stars. I'm not gonna send the email right now, so I'll chat to them about that later. So I'm gonna add the nerve center rock stars, which is that uh, contributors team of mine, as people who can edit permissions, okay? So then what I want to do is I want to add the company in for read rights. Now, I don't quite know how um, your stuff's been set up in the old days. <laughs> that makes me sound very old. We used to add all domain or something. I just want to check if that's something that's still, uh, it's not, hey, so I'm going to have to like figure this out. So what you'll have to have is, um, as a group that you can add in. So you definitely might have a group which um, which you use for permissions uh, for the all company. So um, whatever this company's name is, and this is where you would add that group in because I don't want you to create loose permissions in here. If that makes sense, you don't want to keep on adding people. So I want a group from uh, from Azure or something that's a security group that uh, I have a, the, everyone in the company, so all domain users or all computer users, I want to add them to this group. So for my uh, for my tenant, I don't have that set up, of course, but uh, this is where you would then add the whole company. Then um, lastly, I just want to go to site contents and just speak about permissions on specific apps. I do believe in transparency and about trying to trust each other and learn to trust each other. Okay, so normally I open up the whole internet for contribution to everyone, even though maybe this person doesn't really work on the gallery or that person doesn't really update those type of policies. I do try and create an environment where people trust each other and they use the, I call them SWAT, so that's SharePoint weapons and tactics. I want them to use the alerts on the libraries and things like um, version control and things to kind of trust the system better so that if something goes wrong, they'll have a notification. Something I do tend to do is site pages, um, and especially if it's users that are new to SharePoint that now have to contribute to this intranet, I normally change the permissions for site pages. So just to go back to my permissions, what I would then do, and I actually just want to go back to uh, site settings and go back into permissions, so site permissions, in permissions, what I normally do is I will go to permission levels. I normally set up a permission level specific to the site pages. It's going to sound a bit interesting now. So in site pages, I have an edit uh, permission level and I have contribute. Be very careful of edit because edit can delete apps as well. Okay, so I'm going to go to um, the contribute permission level. And when I'm in contribute, I can actually copy this permission level. So right at the bottom, you're going to see copy permission level. And what I want to create is a unique permission level. And it's like the only one in the world I ever create. Okay, so it's called contribute. There we go. Cannot delete. So these guys can still add content, but they can't delete the pages. So I'm definitely going to go and say, I want to remove the ability to delete versions and I want to remove the ability to delete items. So then contribute cannot delete. So this is after your intranet is set up, if that makes sense. And then this permission level I can then use on site pages. So let's just quickly go there. If I go to the settings of site pages, then I can stop the inheritance of permissions. So stop inheriting permissions. And this editing rights of my very, very cool rock stars, I'm going to change that to contribute cannot delete. Does that make sense? So that means these uh, these oaks on site pages, which include your home page, they can make changes, but they can't delete the content. And I think that's just a bit safer, especially in the beginning. Well, um, there you go. That's uh, definitely going to be um, a cool little intranet. And uh, I hope that you've gotten as far as I have. And then we'll chat soon.